Jenny, you know I love doing a special project for every family. Mm -hmm. I noticed that Rachel had all of these great photos around her house, mm -hmm. and I started really thinking about the journey that they went through in order to conceive Grace. Yeah. And wouldn't it be cool if we incorporate many of these photos into their new design? Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. They're so sentimental. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all about memories and, and family, so I think they would love it. Okay. So I came up with a wood photo hanging display. Okay, well that sounds great, but what is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see around our house, have you seen the wall hangings mm -hmm. that she has? Yes. There's yarn, some have pom-poms and tassels. Well, we're gonna do something like that, but instead of just decorative trinkets, we're gonna transfer these photos onto a piece of wood and hang those. So now you have a photo gallery and a piece of art. All right, that sounds great. Let's get started. All right. Wait, wait, you can't get started without your wooden blocks, though. Oh, perfect timing. Right. Yes, perfect timing. Yeah. And you're welcome to stay. You know, uh, you look like you're trying to run off here. Oh, yeah, there's a trampoline with my name all over oh. it. So, sorry. I'm going to leave it with you guys, and I'm going to go. Uh, thanks. Got James. <laughs> I can't be mad at him, though, because we do need these. Yes, and he actually drilled the holes for us. Perfect. So so here are the images that I printed on wax paper. Why'd you use wax paper? Well, wax paper doesn't absorb the ink, so when the printer spits it out, the ink is still wet. Oh, so it's just kind of sitting on top of the wax paper, which makes it easy to transfer onto the wood. Yes. Okay, I got exactly. it. Exactly. And I found that if you dampen the wood just a little bit, the image comes out a lot clearer. Nice, okay. I had to tape the wax paper to uh, just regular copy paper so it wouldn't jam the printer. So now I'm just gonna cut that tape off. So here's a picture of Grace. That's cute. Prints it on the wax paper, and then I'm just gonna lay it very carefully. Once it's down, it's down. Right. Like if you move it, you're gonna smear it. Then I'm just gonna transfer the image by rubbing from the top, also called burnishing. Um, and you could really use anything, a squeegee or a scraper, but I just had this expired credit card laying around and it's working just fine. Oh, that's working real good. Yeah. And I think it's transferred. <gasps> Ooh, I can't wait to see how it came out. I can't wait to show you. All right. Wow, Bam. that really looks amazing. I love it. I mean, and it was so easy. It was. I have to tell you, I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. I was like, hmm, <laughs> let me see. But now I'm feeling it. I can't wait to do the rest of them. All right, well, we have nine wow. more. OK, let's get going. <laughs> this is so cute. I am so impressed by the determination of this family. They have been through so much, but they have remained positive, and they have such a great outlook on life. You're right. They just have the biggest hearts. You know, going through fertility struggles, it's not only just emotionally, mentally hard. It's like emotionally, doctors, physically, spiritually yes. hard. Yeah. I mean, because you don't really know in the end what's going to happen. Absolutely. I think this project is really going to remind them of all the sacrifices they went through and put a smile on their face because they really did get a blessing in the end. Mm -hmm. For sure. I, I just love their story. You know what? I think we should leave one block blank for their next child. Oh, that's, oh, I love it. Yes. They're going to love it. Okay, so I'm okay. going to put this aside. Yes. All right, here's our last one. Wow. It's nice. So these really look great. What's next? Yeah, well, the next step is to lay them out in a pattern mm -hmm. that you like. So I want this hanging above the dresser, so mm -hmm. it'll be a nice focal point in the room. This is the bar the yarn is going to be hanging from, so it's going to be at the top. Yes. And these are all going to be dangling Ex below. OK, exactly. I got you. Do you want to leave your blank one at the bottom, The very maybe? bottom, I think, would be good. Yes. Instead of just leaving it like this, I want to add a couple more pieces just to finish off the art. We'll spray paint part of it gold to add a little bit of artistic element. So what is the yarn and the staple gun and the rest of this for? Well, the yarn is what we're going to use to hang these from the copper pipe. Oh, We're okay. just going to thread it through these holes and staple it in the back so it looks clean. We don't have any knots. And the tassels are going to finish off each row and just add a punch of color. Nice, so you made these yourself. I did. These are really cute. It's so much fun. All right. So I want all the blocks evenly spaced throughout the whole piece. So we're gonna use these trusty credit cards again as spacers to keep it even. It's nice to use a credit card without having to spend money. Right? <laughs> You're doing the last tassel. I am. 
That looks so good. This is so beautiful and art is so personal. But what I love about this is that we've used all of their family photos. And you can find hundreds of more projects just like this on HomemadeSimple.com or search Homemade Simple on Pinterest. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Amazing. This is so cute. Oh, now this is a special project. Yes, it really is. Thank you for helping me pull this together. Of course. It's perfect.